Well, as it turns out, the U.S. government admits that equipment that they'd like to have for the same reason you'd like to have it, they're going to let themselves have it, but keep it out of your hands. And this goes all the way down to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Department. Now, before I get into it, I do want to take a moment, thank our sponsor, ES Power Drink, for not just supporting this channel, but creating a drink that has Trinidad scorpion peppers in it so you can reap the health benefits of the capsaicins that's in those hot peppers that I believe science has not even began to understand. I sleep better, I'm losing weight, I have more energy, I have a better outlook on life, and there's no way I could eat those. Uh, just throw them in my mouth and eat them without just my mouth being on fire, my stomach being on fire, but ES Power Drink, mm, definitely check it out. That link is below. Every now and then, the U.S. government makes guns and ammo purchases that kind of catches me off guard, it leaves me a little bit shocked, to be quite honest. And really, I'm not talking about the military. What I'm talking about is the administrative branch of the U.S. government. And part of that, um, one that really caught me off guard a few months ago, uh, and we did a video on it, but now we know why. And ultimately what took place was the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Department purchased 40 caliber suppressed Glocks. And in my head I thought, well, wait a second, why in the world uh, does the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Department need suppressed Glocks? And as it turns out, the reason why is really the exact same reason you and I need 40 caliber suppressed Glocks. And that's because if you're out in the wilderness and you come across a four-legged predator, you can defend yourself without damaging your ears. Now, I just wanna pause and think about that for a second. Just think about that for one moment, what it is they're saying is that they're saying that we realize that when we're out in the wilderness, there may be a circumstance where we need to a draw a handgun powerful enough to take care of four-legged predators, but also be suppressed so it doesn't damage our ears. Well, me too. Me too. I feel the exact same way. The difference is I have to go through a lengthy process that involves uh, spending money on tax stamps, uh, that involves sitting around and waiting for a long period of time, uh, which I am sure they did not do. Of course they didn't do that. Uh, they just went out and purchased them and handed them out. And this really draws a lot of attention from me, and I hope you as well, because it's it always baffles me why suppressors are so difficult to uh, acquire through the U.S. government. Uh, having to get a tax stamp, having to wait, having to go through a lengthy background check. Because I believe what happens is Hollywood took suppressors and act like they were literally silencers, like you could just shoot guns all day long and it's silent. It is not, uh, especially a 40 caliber handgun. It's gonna be still very loud, but not ear damaging loud. Loud enough to hear for sure, loud enough to hear from a distance, definitely loud enough to hear in the wilderness where it's very quiet from a great distance. Uh, but it's really, it's all about protecting your ears. And it, it, it just baffles me how when the U.S. government says, well, wait a second, we don't want to damage our ears. Let's go out and get suppressed Glocks. And the citizens have to just kind of stare at it and go, well, that'd be nice. That'd be real nice. Uh, wish we could do that so freely as well. Uh, now, again, you, of course, can buy a suppressor, but lengthy background check, wait a long time, pay your tax stamps, a very expensive and lengthy process um, that really at this point continues to baffle me. But what we see is at least the U.S. government is saying, hey, we see a need for these. We see that this can come in as a benefit to not harming those who are just out in the wilderness protecting themselves from four-legged predators and two-legged predators if necessary, let's just be honest. But yet, it's still, we can't acquire them without going through a ridiculous, ridiculous process. But, you know, as of now, at least the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Department, their, their ears are gonna be okay. 
uh, you know, with their nice 40 caliber Glocks that are suppressed. Again, must be nice. Wish I could just go out and buy that without it, without having to go through the process that I have to go through. Um, it really, I think is extremely contradictory because on one hand you see that they get it, they clearly get it. And on the other hand, they're like, boy, we don't want you to have silencers because then you might go around killing people and then nobody would know because it's so quiet. Um, plain ignorant while acting out the wisdom of protecting your ears for themselves. So love to know your thoughts on this. My guess is if you watch this, I probably already know your thoughts on it. Uh, it's very contradictory. It's very, um, I don't know, and I, I just, I recommend reach out to your congressman and say, well, if they can have it, why can't we have it? For the same exact reason. Any thoughts or insight on that? Definitely put it below. Do want to take a moment and say most people watch the channel, hey, they're not subscribers. Click that subscribe button. Greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get these messages out. That link is also below. But the most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests. So please don't ever, ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.